Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 28th. Uh, this week, you have a great week, uh, to say the least. You have some really cool stuff going on this week. The first card you have is the Three of Clubs, which is a great card because it represents a second chance, getting a second chance at something, um, you know, having a second chance coming in. Uh, frequently, it can be a relationship, getting a second chance at a relationship, or even, you know, if you've been interested in somebody and you've been communicating back and forth, but things haven't really come together and you really haven't had a chance to, uh, like, you know, meet up or whatever, this is a, getting a second chance at that. Uh, the other thing that this card can represent is learning through your relationships. So when this comes up for somebody in a personal reading, for example, frequently I tell that person that pretty much their whole lives, they've probably been learning through the relationships only. Like some people, experience, they learn through experience, experiencing different things in the world. Uh, and then there are other people who they only learn their lessons and the most important things that they came to learn uh, You know, on this earth, they learn through their relationships. And that's all relationships, personal, love, business, work, whatever. Um, that's, you know, so you'll be learning a lot from your relationships this week as well. But it is a great card because it does give you that second chance type of deal coming in, which is really nice. Uh, next, you have the Joker, which is another great card for Gemini specifically because the Joker really represents Gemini. Um, and, you know, if there was one card that I could say is Gemini, it is the Joker. The Joker is actually a great card. People are always nervous when they see this, but it's a very positive card, and it, it really will, um, you know, it, it allows you to kind of like live in your element of being Gemini. Gemini is great at juggling a bunch of different projects at once, a bunch of different just stuff at once, like having to handle doing things at home and the job and other extra responsibilities. But this card really gives you the ability to do all of those things and it won't stress you out. It'll be like, you know, it'll be easy. The Joker, uh, he can also accomplish things to a high degree of accuracy. So like normally people, if they were to have to do this much work that the Joker is going to bring into you, not only would, I mean, they would just have a mental breakdown, number one, but number two, they just, they wouldn't be able to complete all the projects really well. They, they would b make a lot of mistakes. The Joker can accomplish you know, 40 tasks at once, and he can complete them to a high degree of accuracy without making any mistakes at all. So it's a great power to have. I always tell people that, if I mean, if you've been thinking about starting a business, doing a side project, even in your hobbies or, or something like that, now's a great time to take advantage of that because you can use the power of the Joker to really help you do a bunch of things all at once, and uh, you, you will do them well, in, despite the retrograde, by the way. I know that we're still in the retrograde, but you know this really allows you to, to complete things to, like I said, a high degree of accuracy. So this is a great card to have. To further that message, you have the Five of Diamonds, which is really says it's a great time to start new projects and businesses or trying to get new jobs and things like that. The Five of Diamonds is all about birth, and uh, so usually there's a period of pain beforehand, um, and, and then this is the period at like after uh, the birth. So when we think about birth, most people will consider it a painful process. So there definitely has been pain leading up to this point, but this is good stuff coming in, new stuff coming in, uh, better situations, but it also says that your ideas are really on point right now. So like I said, if you have any ideas for a business, now's the time to do it because you have not only the power of the Joker, but the power of this card, which allows you to birth those ideas. So if you've been stuck on anything, if you've been getting stuck or banging your head against the wall, whatever you want to say, this card allows you to move forward. And it, it, it's like kind of like that final push, really, uh, in getting things out and getting things done. So this is a great energy and a great card to have. To keep going with that message, you have the Ten of Spades, which is another great card. It, it's like a death card. It represents the ending of situations. Uh, and sometimes this can be a negative card, but what I'm getting for you is that this is actually very positive. You're going to be happy to see this situation go away. So if you have any have any like difficult like court cases or anything like that or any other situations, it could be anything. Um, you know, it could be a relationship problems or any of those other issues. This card would represent the death of those things, like those things going away and you moving past them. And like I said, it really feels like for pretty much all of you, um, not even just a majority, it just feels like all of you, uh, you're going to be seeing an ending of a situation, but you're really going to be happy to see that situation ending. And it's really going to allow you to like move forward big time, and especially with the Joker and the Five of Diamonds. So Gemini, you have an incredible week. I hope you enjoy it. I think you definitely will. It'll make you feel very happy. And thank you for watching.